I mean, no, it really wasn't fair. It wasn't fair that he was about to have a panic attack on the night of her prom. But he can't really control the timing of that. And I feel like at that point it was like understandable to be completely overwhelmed because his mom ended up dying 14 days later. So none of it is fair. Grief and life aren't fair. Belly's actions towards him weren't fair either. And I think what a lot of people don't understand, at least to me personally, and this is my opinion, I don't think inside their relationship while they were together those several months, I don't think he did anything inherently wrong. Him not being able to communicate when he was feeling anxious and depressed, yes, that's, that's not a good thing. That's not a sustainable thing, but it's not wrong. It's just not something he knew how to do. And while I do think Belly had her faults in the relationship, like she put him up on a pedestal and expected him to be perfect a lot of the time, um, she also jumped to conclusions and ran away from him a lot. She was also dealing with that grief, and it's also something that she didn't know how to deal with either. So, yeah, none of it's fair. And they're all dealing with the consequences of their actions now. Like, Conrad didn't know how to communicate um, when he was feeling bad, when he was going through a tough time. And so because of that, you know, he doesn't have Belly anymore. He has to see Belly with his brother now. Um, that's unfortunately a consequence. So, I don't think the way things are shown, I don't think they're shown as fair. And as for none of them ending up together, I mean, that's your opinion. You're allowed to have it. Like, I'm not trying to change your opinion. But, I mean, this is like a love story. So, somebody's going to end up together. And I just personally believe it should be Conrad and Belly. Because I think they have the potential to grow up and change and come back together and they desperately love each other so you know I look forward to seeing how they grow. This part is simultaneously really sad and really funny to me. Sad because Connie baby is still so alone. Like besides Laurel who does he have to talk to about this? And even though I do think he knows she never loved Jeremiah the way she loves him. I still think this is a big insecurity of his because she was still going to choose Jeremiah anyway. And when he hears from Jeremiah and not her that she and Jeremiah are talking again, it's just like another stab to the heart. Especially since, you know, Jeremiah cheated on her. You'd think that'd be a reason for them not to talk that soon after, you know, they broke up even though they were about to get married. But, you know, it still may seem to Conrad like, you know, Jeremiah has done all these things but never seems to face, like, consequences for his actions. Meanwhile, um, Conrad is all alone in California facing every single consequence. But I think this right here can tie back to another line just a little bit earlier in this book. I put up with a lot worse from you. I said it automatically. I said it without thinking. I don't think what she means here is that what Conrad did was worse. Because, I mean, objectively, it wasn't. I think what she means is that what Conrad did hurt her worse. And here's where we get to what I think is the funny part. He never meant as much to Belly as Conrad did. He did not have her heart the way Conrad did. So nothing he ever, ever did, no matter how bad it was, would ever hurt her the way Conrad shutting down did. And that's why it's easier for Belly to get back in touch with Jeremiah first. It's easier for both of them to get over. You know, because I personally don't think that Jeremiah really loved her the way he was supposed to for someone who was going to marry her. 
I personally always think they were just supposed to be friends. So it is less awkward around them because their feelings weren't as involved romantically. But I think all of this will make Conrad and Belly coming back together mean so much more because they've taken the time, because they've done the work, because he's like pouring his heart out and trying his hardest to communicate and directly tell her how he feels, especially in a way that's like, you know, trying not to disturb her boundaries while she is in Spain. Um, he's doing it through letters. And I just think that will mean so much for her. And I just really, really hope that we see all of this in a, in a lot of detail in the show. Like, I don't want it to be an afterthought like it was in the book. Like, in the book, it's an epilogue that's, like, a few pages long. And then we get, like, three, maybe two long episodes of them bringing Conrad and Belly back together. And I would love it if they show um, Conrad and Jeremiah, you know, kind of mending their relationship a little bit, too. And then we get the wedding. I actually had a thought the other day. You know how Belly and Conrad, you know, before they go to the reception, they go to the beach and go in the water and get all messy. I feel like I have the best idea. Jenny Han, you know, feel free to use this. You know, it'd be like great if you credited me, but you know, I won't say anything. What if after they get messy, they're like, oh God, what do we do now? What are we supposed to wear to the reception? We can't be like dripping water on the floor. What if they go back to the beach house and change into their dev outfits? And those will be their reception outfits. I know it's like years later and, you know, who knows if they would fit. And I'm honestly just mainly thinking about Belly. But what if Belly's reception dress was her Deb dress? Like the white dress that Susanna had to see her in before she died. The dress that she and Conrad had their first like real dance in. Ugh, I just think that would be like so swoony. You know what's funny? is that I have a video saying this exact thing. Yes, me. <laughs> but then people in my comments graciously reminded me that the books are very one-sided. They're from Belly's perspective. And so with some things, it just makes you wonder, is that really how things went? Is that how he meant to come across? Or is that how she just interpreted things? Because she is insecure when it comes to Conrad and she may portray him as more harsh than he really is because she believes that he doesn't want her like with the whole prom thing you know when I first read book two you know I thought it was obvious that he actually wanted to break up with her whereas in the show to me it's completely obvious that he doesn't want to break up with her but she still thinks he does in both scenarios. So it's just kind of like, what's really going on here? You know, it's like there's three sides to every story, his side, her side, and the truth. But with the show, we're just able to see much more of Conrad's headspace and what he's dealing with and what he's going through. We see much more of his intention um, because with the TV show, you kind of have to do that. Whereas with a book, you don't. And at first I was like, well, maybe they just change Conrad in the show to make him more likable. But I am starting to believe that's not really the case because Conrad is likable in book three. When you actually get to see Conrad's POV in book three, you understand where he's coming from. Well, I don't know. Some people might not understand where he's coming from, but you get the reasons from him why he did what he did. And while, you know, there, um, he still made mistakes and he went about things completely wrong, you're still given more to the story. Kind of like, oh, okay, this makes more, a little more sense now. So yeah, he comes off like really, really, really harsh in the first two books. But when you see such a drastic change, it just kind of makes you wonder like, okay, the truth is probably somewhere in the middle. And I still have to admit, I do like show Conrad better. I still do think he's a little bit more nuanced in the show. But I'm able to see now that, you know, he actually wasn't as terrible as Billy may make him seem in the books. You know, she was just really hurt. 
Uh, this comment was deleted from the video link. I managed to screenshot it before it was deleted. I had been planning on replying to it, and I still wanted to address what was left in the comments.